Okay, uh, good morning. My name is David Olberding. I'm the instructor at the Mel Soul Golf School here at Tupelo Bay Golf Center in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Now, uh, today is Technical Thursday, March 23rd, and uh, I want to talk to you about an issue on your downswing. So as we transition between the backswing and the downswing, we want to feel as if the club either comes down on the same plane or may actually kind of shallow or flatten a little bit. So let me get in the position at the top of my swing. So at the top up here, a lot of people have a tendency to turn their left hip and uh, bring their right shoulder out and then you would come out and over the swing plane. So what I've done is I've put a uh, alignment rod in the bottom of my golf club to show what should actually happen on the backswing. So here's another alignment rod down here on the bottom. This is my target line, so through the ball to my target. And then what I want to do is come back on my backswing so the extension of this should point at my target line so that I know I'm on the proper plane. Now what I'm here to talk to you about is this little bump move that I'll make with my left hip. Somewhat uh, feels like you're bumping a wall if you would. Small two to three inch movement laterally left and at the same time I've got this other second ball here a few inches outside the target line so what I want to do is feel as if at the same time I bump, that then I point an extension of the shaft at this ball. So this allows the shaft to fall down or essentially flatten a few degrees before I come into the impact zone. So basically, here's the situation. My hands are in the center of my chest, the butt of the club at the target line. And then as I make this little transitional move, bump, and fall, it's easier to see with the extension because the golf club now is probably close to four to five inches long. A lot easier to see. So I'm a bit of a visual learner myself. So for something like this, it's very visual. I can go bump, fall, and then come swooping into the ball slightly from the inside as opposed to the outside. So this is the takeaway for today, is bump and get the impact of the visualness of the butt of the club and the entire long shaft shallowing a few degrees before you come into the impact zone. So hopefully that will help you. All you need is two alignment rods to uh, successfully start finding the proper delivery path of the club head into the ball. So I uh, love to work with you on a personal basis. Uh, come take a one hour lesson, maybe a two hour lesson at golf school here with us at the Mel Soul Golf School at Tupelo Bay Golf Center.